Hey guys, this is Albert. Hope you all doing okay. All right, so this video is my second part on the Black Magic ATAM Television Studio HD. And so here is my setup right now for this video to show you uh, how to do live streaming. Uh, these are my four cameras here that I have connected. And I have connected that to uh, uh, an external display as a multi-view console. So if you see behind over here, those four are the HDMI ins coming in from the cameras. And this is the multi-view console out going out. Uh, here, this, this one I use to be able to capture the stream and do a live stream. And so here you see uh, those four cameras and then you can switch uh, whichever to whichever one you want to be able to do an actual streaming. Now, one thing to know about, note about streaming is when I say stream, you know, this in technical terms, not every stream is a live stream because um, uh, you can't just take like a raw stream coming out from a device like this and be able to send it over the internet because because they have to be encoded to a, a standard compression algorithm, something like H.264. And the switcher does not do it. So that's why you have to add additional devices to be able to make it happen. Okay, so how do we do that? Now, when I was researching this, uh, I figured that because the switcher was not able to do live streaming, I had to buy uh, what's called as a capture device. And so what I ended up buying was this device, the Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. And what it does is you basically attach an HDI in over here or an HDMI. And then this is a Thunderbolt interface from which you can send the stream out. So uh, the out from HDI would go from there into this and from this into your uh, into your device from where uh, your, your computer from where you'll be live streaming. But then I figured that um, this was just not working. And so later on, after several frustrating moments of research, I found out that this capture device is actually not capable of sending out 60 frames per second. Because if you remember, the switcher is set to 60 frames, both in and out, and um, the capture device did not support it. And so when I looked it up, it I think it supports only up to like 30 frames per second. So that was a big bummer. And then I found out that I need to buy a separate device to do the up-down conversion. And so I ended up buying this device, uh, again from Blackmagic. And uh, this one was for like $300 and this one like maybe like 100 or so. And then the way it would work is that you would plug in your out from the switcher into this device. And this device would then do the conversion based on the configuration as you see. It's flip it um, you need to set up this configuration and so here um, let's see out here you have this these these switches so based on what you want you can do the up down conversion and then once you do that then you send the uh, the stream back into this through a different cable so I had to down convert it I think I down converted to like 25 if I remember right it went to the capture device and then I still wasn't done because from the capture device, it has a Thunderbolt interface um, and that basically ruled out using a PC and so I had to use a Mac. And so I bought, I had to get a separate uh, device. So I got this cable, this cable for uh, connecting the, the capture device to, the, to my Mac. But then I found out that with my Mac, it had a USB 3.0. And so that was not compatible with this cable. So I had to buy a separate dongle, which is this, that would uh, that you would plug into, and then this end would go into the Mac. So there was like a whole bunch of hassles and frustrating moments I had to go through. It just was super complicated. But thankfully, um, after a few months, I figured it was a way to make it much easier. So all I had to do was get this device here, the AJA U-Type SDI, it's a um, wonderful device. Basically, it takes out all the complications out. You plug in your, your stream coming from here into this, figures out all the up-down conversion, 
encodes it to whatever format it does that is compatible with the live stream and then it sends it sends it out here um, and then you could use that basically for either a Mac or a PC. So um, that's how uh, you can uh, use the switcher uh, to be able to live stream or as you as you have seen this it's if you, if you have to stick with black magic products it becomes quite complicated um, but then thankfully I found the found the the AJ capture device so one more thing to note is with your display here you may run into an issue where the out from the uh, switcher will not be able to uh, be displayed on the, the monitor uh, again, it's all configuration if it is set at a different uh, frequency. For example, uh, if your switcher says, I'm going to be uh, setting at 60 frames per second for my multi-view. But if your monitor is at, let's say, uh, 25, uh, in this case, it's the Hertz because it's translated to Hertz, it will not pick up. So you have to set um, both of them at the same. So in this case i have set my my uh, switcher to 60 frames and my display is 60 hertz and so here you can see um you have the video format and you have the multi view format so they are both it's not exactly 60 as you notice it's 59.94 but it works for 60 frames okay so that's all i had um hopefully that will help you guys to be able to uh find uh, an easy way to live stream with the switcher uh in case you know you're still having any difficulty so in my next video i uh, on the series of, on on, on uh, the television studio hd i'll talk about uh, the um, the software that comes along with it uh, that you can install on your machine i think it's called the atm uh, software control or something like that uh, but then using that software you'll be able to do the switching on the software itself again a whole bunch of challenges you will run into mainly with things like IP address conflict and then I will cover that in a separate video. Alright folks, so thanks for watching, stay safe out there and, and uh, happy streaming. Bye.